Hey mamas, how many of you have some fear about childbirth? Did you know that 80% of women express some kind of fear over childbirth? So pretty much all of us have this fear. But I did a video on how fear impacts the birthing body. And if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. I'll link it up here and I'll link it in the descriptions below. It's definitely one you'll want to check out. Um, and if you feel like your fears have power over you, it's going to impact your birthing experience. So in this video, we are going to talk about six ways that you can eliminate those fears regarding childbirth so that you can have a positive birthing experience. So the first way that you are going to be able to eliminate that fear from the birthing space is to, number one, be aware of that fear. And you're here now watching this video, so I feel like you're already um, one step closer to uh, eliminating these fears from the birthing space. It's hard to try to overcome something if you don't even know what it is. So it's important to ask yourself, hey, what am I afraid of when it comes to um, childbirth or pregnancy or even motherhood? Because those things are going to have an impact during labor. So it's important that you um, figure out what those things are. For some people, it's going to be a quick, easy answer. For other people, they're going to have to sit down and really you know, figure out what is it that's scaring me about labor. So that's the first step um, is to be aware of those fears. So the second way to eliminate your fear of childbirth after being aware of your fears is to write it down or verbalize it. So I really enjoyed writing my fears down because I feel like it gave me something to like tangibly see. Um, but if you prefer just talking about it over writing it down, that is fine too. But the purpose in verbalizing it or writing it down is to give like your fears boundaries. Do you ever feel like when um, you don't voice your fear um, or you don't, in this case, write it down, how it just kind of like festers in your, in your mind and it grows? and it grows and it grows because there's just like no boundaries to it. So in writing it down, it like makes it very specific. Like I'm afraid of tearing. Okay, that's one thing. And so it gives it boundaries to that fear. So the third way that I have for you to eliminate those fears is to learn about birth. So I feel like for a lot of people, there's just a lot of fear surrounding the unknown, especially for first time moms who have never experienced labor firsthand, but they know it's challenging. They know it's gonna be really intense. Um, but they're not really sure just what they're getting into. Um, the best tip that I can give you is just to educate yourself. So take a childbirth education class, talk to women who have positive birth stories, um, learn about what your body is capable of. The body, the female body is capable of so many amazing things, especially when it comes to childbearing. So the one pro tip that I have for you is to educate yourself um, in areas that you are like scared about. So let's say you're scared of tearing or you're scared of getting a C-section, then educate yourself about um, how to avoid tearing. Educate yourself on breathing techniques so that your body can um, be slowly working on getting that baby out instead of those forceful push pushes that are going to probably result in tearing. Learn about those things. Learn about how you can manage your pregnancy so that you can avoid getting a C-section um, or how to remain calm so that your baby doesn't get in distress during your labor. So gear your um, like your education towards what you are afraid of because the more you know about those things, the more empowered you are going you, you are going to feel over those things um, and you're going to be able to be like, hey, I know about these things. I know I can do X, Y, Z um, in order to like avoid those things. But if I do all that I can and it still happens, I know that I did what I can. Um, and so all that knowledge is going to give you a lot of power over those fears. So the fourth way that I have for you is to bring those fears to a trusted person. That trusted person can be your doula, it can be a midwife, an OB, or it can be a friend. But this person should be someone who um, either knows a lot about childbirth or has experienced themselves. Because bringing those fears to someone who um, has never experienced it before it probably isn't going to be able to encourage you in the way that you need it. Um, but in bringing those fears to someone who's experienced birth before or knows a lot about birth can um, really help work through those fears with you. So, um, you know, they can tell you whether or not those fears are actually rational or maybe those fears are like really big in your mind, like tearing, for example, like maybe you're like, oh my gosh, how do people deal with tearing? And your OB or your midwife might be able to tell you, hey, like, 
many, many women, most women experience tearing and we give you all the tools that you need in order to recover from that tear. And so it might be able, telling these fears to um, someone, a trusted person might be able to help bring those fears down or eliminate them completely. So the fifth thing that I have for you is to prepare for your dream labor. So we've all heard it before that that labor is like running a marathon. And as with running a marathon, you do months and months of training. You have um, your your exercise regimen set, you have your nutrition set, um, you know, you're preparing your body and your mind for that big race. So the same is true for labor. You want to make sure that you are preparing your body and your mind for the kind of labor that you want. So let's say you want... Um, a natural unmedicated birth, then you are going to have to take steps in the direction um, to achieve that that uh, natural unmedicated birth. Um, you really want to avoid tearing in your birth. Um, you need to take steps to help you learn how to avoid tearing during your birth. So maybe that's going to look like learning breathing techniques or doing yoga, walking often, um, eating nutritious foods. You have to ask yourself, what does my dream birth look look like and how do I get there? And in doing um, in, in doing what you can to prepare your body for that, you are going to give yourself many tools and resources when labor comes um, to help you feel empowered and to eliminate those fears. The sixth way that I have for you to eliminate those fears in childbirth is to have a support team that will be there to encourage and support you the whole way through. So even if you've done steps one through five, um, if you come to the labor space and you don't have a birth team who is there who, that's going to respect you, that's going to listen to you, support you, encourage you, be your biggest cheerleader, your biggest fan, then those steps one through five, they will have an impact, but not that big of a one. Because when you are in that that vulnerable state um, as you are laboring, you need a team that is going to make you feel encouraged, like you can do it. They're going to give you strength when you feel weak. And so you need to make sure that you have a labor team that you trust, that you feel safe with, that you know is going to respect you and support you and encourage you. So this probably is going to look like your birth partner. It could be your doula. It could be um, your mom, your friend, whoever it is in your life that is going to make you feel supported, um, heard, and encouraged you are going to want to have in your birth room so that you feel empowered and so that you can eliminate whatever fear is left um, away and out of that birthing space. So I hope these six tips will help you to eliminate those fears. Remember how at the beginning we, I told you to write down those fears? Once you've worked through them, burn those fears. Get them out of the way. They no longer exist and you are able to enter the labor space fear-free and pain-free. Um, so I hope that these six things have helped you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell um, so you don't miss any of my future videos, and I will see you in my next video, mamas. Bye!